Hey there, Internet Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars and Keeve YouTube channel. And in this video, I am really excited about this unit right here. Now, I've stated in previous videos that I got something really cool coming that I think is going to be really good. Is this the pressure washer of 2022? We all know the Active VE52 was the pressure washer of 2021. 100 feet of hose, 2200 psi uh, capable, 2.1 GPM capable, it says. We are going to put those numbers to the test, and you know I will. Comes with a gun that goes right here on the unit also has a foam cannon that's a lot better than most of the ones that come with these units. It's a very Amazon style one with a smaller bottle. This is not just any kind of reel. This is a lock on lock reel. So you pull out and it locks the hose in place, right? Then when you want to retract it back, you pull. I mean, nobody's really ever done a full all one unit. I know there's a Comet pressure washer out there. It's like six, 700 bucks that does something similar, but it is a hand crank on top for 299 bucks. I mean, are you gonna beat it? Well, we're fixing to find out. <laughs> My balls pulled out of the wall. I knew they wouldn't hold. Well, it didn't take much to strip those out. I mean, I've, I've hand tightened it here. I can pull it right out. The anchor is dead in the drywall. I mean, it's sitting nice. It's not spinning out. It's kind of doing what it's supposed to be doing. I don't think the bolts actually are the right size for these anchors. So our plan is now we're gonna use these anchors right here these are way better once the bolt goes in this flips up props against the drywall those have metal on the inside should allow this to not get stripped out we picked up a few small washers like i said this thing is pretty heavy go so for the side of the unit it is a nice brass piece solid you get an adapter that comes with the unit so that way you can turn this uh, male into a female to accept the garden hose connect the hose unit these fittings these nice brass fittings here at the end of the hose are really nice we have the gun which is actually for an in-the-box solution about as solid of a gun as you could find um, the only issue I have is the trigger is a little wonky would be the word <laughs> but it's got a pretty good trigger on it. Easy pullback, easy out. Uh, does have an M22 14 millimeter. It is not a proprietary connection, which is great. Uh, at the end, 14 millimeter M22 as well, which is even better. So you connect your brass fitting to the M22 there. When you're using a foam can on a gun like this, it's gonna wanna really weigh down the end of your wand. You're not gonna wanna deal with that. So it comes with a, actually a pretty decent foam can. This is basically an Amazon level uh, foam can attachment with a smaller bottle. It does have a top that fans in and out, allows you to adjust that spray from this to this. Not bad for an in-the-box solution, if you ask me. This is probably the best I've seen so far. Most of them, I call them soap dispensers, they're not really foam cannons. This is a foam cannon. So over here at the unit, you have a GFCI outlet. The cord is maybe five foot long, but it's wall mounted. It's meant to be near the outlet. This comes with about a six foot hose. I put quick disconnects on here already. It's the best way to go. I'm using a stock hose because I want to test the stock numbers. This is a definitely much smaller hose than I run from the house. I run a big three quarter inch industrial hose. So before we get any further into the video, please go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Check out the links below for Amazon. Let's get the testing. All right, stock setup test. I have the 2.5 that came with the unit. It's marked on there. I did connect to the shorter end of the gun here. I don't have a long wand, it's just too much weight. So I'm gonna say stock setup does about 1150. It was creeping up towards 1200. It was continuing to get pressure. Here's the amps. Fourteen one creeping up there at the end, but uh, not too bad. Safe. Okay, here we go. Two point five stock orifice. So stock orifice. I'm calling that one and a half. Uh, one point four eight. One point four nine. Okay, so we went up one. This is my favorite nozzle here. This is my three zero. I'd say about 925, it was creeping up towards the 95 mark there at the end. It's continuing to build pressure. Wow. 
Much safer at that 12.8. So the 3.0 did between 1.5 and 1.75 gallons per minute. I'm thinking 1.6 gallons per minute. I have a 3.5 here on the end. I'm thinking that's about the lowest we can go. If we went to a 4 I think the PSI would be just way too low. I'm just gonna call it 750. Eleven seventy, extremely safe. One point seven five gallons per minute. That's pretty good flow. This is the highest tip that I have. This is a one point oh orifice. I'm hoping it gets seventeen eighteen hundred. I don't think we'll get towards the two thousand with this one. I'm just more worried about my breaker shutting off. So I'd say about 1750 creeping up towards 1800. Like I said before, it's continuing to build pressure as you're holding the trigger down. Here goes nothing. This is how much load we're putting on the circuit. It's a bit high, 17.2, 17.3. You saw it was blinking there. It was letting us know it was over 15. There's a few things that I'm gonna show you right now that you can do to make this unit even better. Uh, and then we'll just see how this hose works once you get it fully out, how hard it is to retract back and forth, all the safety things with it and all that. So this is the best way for your stock gun to work. So it's just an M22, 14 millimeter male, just goes into the end of your gun. Uh, and then there's a quarter inch male thread right there. And then you have this quarter inch quick disconnect that's female on both sides. It just goes right in the end of your gun and then we're threaded in. That gives you way more control over the gun. It's not as long and the foam cannon is on there. It's not, you know, leveraging you way too far down. And also right here at the gun, I would put a quick disconnect. So this is just an N22 fitting to the 14 millimeter hose I have here, which is great about this gun. It's 14 millimeters. So then I got a 14 millimeter M22 fitting here with the male end, just like that. And with this, you'll be able to shorten that hose up to where it's not so much uh, hanging out. So that way you don't have to have this cumbersome hose to deal with when you're trying to put it in that little slot on the unit. So I'm just playing around. I hook up my SGS 28 gun. Uh, I have the quick disconnect set up here on the unit, but I added this, added 50 to 75 PSI. I don't know how, I don't, I really don't. And I was testing off camera and our GPM went up too on the unit. At 3.0, we were like, what, 1.6-ish, something like that. We're now at 1.7. That's pretty dang good. I don't know what it is about the gun, but this is working pretty good. The numbers are still good on the other gun, but I still always suggest upgrading to a better gun. Dead at a thousand now. Pretty dang good. Now, one theory I have on this, I think it has a lot to do with the hose. I pulled about five foot more hose off of the wall Maybe that's changing how the pressure runs. Maybe it runs better and it's gravity fed downhill versus being spooled up. So here's how it is when it pulls off. And once you're done, it slacks back. And no matter what you do, I mean, it doesn't, you know, kick back unless you pull at a good bit and then it will start to retract back. You see, we have more than enough hose to get back here and work our way around. The hose is actually laying not bad. Let's do a quick rinse. Like I said, we have the short setup, the M22 adapter here, the adapter here. This is a car washing review channel. I'm going to show you the best way to use this device to wash a car. Now here's one thing to say. This does have a total stop system. It is much louder than most of the pressure washers that I've done, and the kickoff is pretty loud. So this is what it sounds like out in the driveway away from the unit next to the car. See that loud click? It's not as bad as some of those that make that ring. 
sound. It's, it's just that those are really annoying. But the reason it takes so long for the start stop is it's 100 foot of hose. The longer the hose, the longer it takes the total start stop to understand once you let go of the trigger to judge all that pressure that's coming back uh, through the hose and when it wants to turn off. So if you already have a much shorter hose, 50 foot, I would say it cut the time in half. So let's try out the foam cannon. I filled up to this bottom lip here of uh, G Wash from G Technic. That's gonna put it at about 60 milliliters, something like that. Then we're gonna fill it the rest with water. Leave some air in the top, we'll put the top on and then we'll just swish it around. You don't wanna shake it, you don't wanna create a lot of suds on the inside. You wanna suck the soap through, uh, aerate, and create the foam inside the manifold at the top. Like I said before, with the metal on plastic, be very careful how you thread it. Leak test. Doesn't leak. I would say that's pretty dang good for a foam cannon out of the box. It's better than just about every one that I've seen. As you can see, it's pretty decent foam. It's not full on foam. So this is the MJJC gun with uh, G washing it as well. This is an auto metered cannon, so I just have full detergents open here. The, uh, there's a siphon on the tube that keeps it from getting too much, just the right amount. This foam's better than just about any foam cannon out there, so it does. I just did an amperage on it, 12.7 on this. It was 13.1 on the other one, so I think that other one has a 1.1. This has a 1.25 orifice on the inside. You can definitely see the difference in thickness on the MJJC. Much thicker, it's sticking a lot better. Uh, with, it's just, this is just so much better. There's nothing out there that can beat this gun when it comes to foam. It actually rinses pretty good. It's still a little bit too long for me. Um, this doesn't have any flex, which kind of, you know, hurts your ability to control the hose as much. You just gotta really watch the hose, make sure the curls, you know, they're gonna happen. Don't touch the car. Let's move to the other side of the car, see what it looks like, how it follows us. Staying pretty flat. The hose isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I just, like I said, it is PVC. But it's actually working pretty good. So let's show it getting retracted back in. First of all, we gotta relieve our pressure. We turned our unit off at the switch on the side. We turned our water off at the switch nearby. And we got rid of all of our water. I think some people, it'd be better to just hold the gun and allow it to hold. As you retract, you're not gonna wanna just go free, like fly in, right? You're gonna wanna hold the gun or the hose and safely Give it a little bit of tension and allow it to reel itself in. Like I said, it needs to be fully depressurized for it to reel properly. Don't do it fully um, on because it's just not gonna do it. It's, it's, it's gonna be in the badly. It's gonna spool up really weird. I'm actually gonna take this off because as it's reeling in, it's gonna force water gravity fed down to the bottom here and it's gonna allow this to drain out. So that way when it's fully in, I'm not gonna get this leaking. So I'm gonna pull to unlock it. And it's going to start to, I'm just letting it roll through my fingers at a, a decent speed, not too much. Letting it flow in. There we go. So all in all, a pretty decent unit. 299 bucks, I think it's worth the money. This has 100 feet. Those actually is actually better than I expected. I expected it to spool up more. It actually did it. It laid flat like the one two. It doesn't have a swivel, so it will spin as you move around. That's expected. Um, it retracts really well. Make sure it's depressurized when you do it. Don't do it when it's pressurized. Comes in, comes out. 
the reel is nice and smooth, just gotta make sure you're controlling it. You're holding the hose, you're not like doing any effort at all. You're just holding it and that's it. Um, the gun's actually pretty good. You can uh, do a lot with it because it's a 14 millimeter universal. Uh, there's a lot of quick disconnect ways to do it. I showed you those to make it as best as it can be. Uh, you could detach and uh, add things. You saw how well it worked with the MJJC. The foaming was really good. Now the numbers, 2.1 gallons per minute, 2200 PSI. I mean, it's, it's not gonna meet those numbers. The, you're gonna blow your, your circuit out unless you got a 20 amp fuse. Uh, and then you have the orifice that can get you there. Now we were able to get to 18, 1900 PSI, but we were at like 16, almost 17 amps. Uh, the circuit didn't go, but it was probably close if I would have had something else running at the same time. Now gallons per minute, actually, pretty dang good, uh, especially for car washing. 1,000 PSI, 1.6-ish gallons per minute, pretty good. So the Amazon link is in the description below. Their website is in the description below as well. I got a feeling this is a unit that's gonna come in and out of supply. Uh, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And there's probably a lot of bloopers. Hey there, Internet Key. Oh my God. Hey there, Internet, oh my God. Hey there, Internet Key here. Welcome to the Cars We Keep. Oh Hey there, Internet. I feel like I'm not, like, it's not, it's focusing on my face, but it's not like, eh, you know? Like, eh. And I'm pretty excited about this one because in the last video, vi here comes a car. False alarm. A very small, even though issue, even though people had issues with them, a very small, even though issue, even though people had a very, oh my gosh. And our final piece of test, whoa, about to fall over. And for that, uh, and I was just testing off camera, our, and I was testing off camera, more time. Thank you.